Hey guys, and welcome back to the LNX Files. This is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we are doing a longer look at Anna Delve, also known as Anna Sorokin, the Soho swindler, Soho con artist. So we're going to use these cards to take a look at what the heck is going on with this woman? But before we do that, let's take a look at her immediate chart, which we can't do thoroughly, unfortunately. So I have not been able to find her birth time on the internet. So all we can go off of is her date of birth. So I'll start by saying she's an Aquarius sun. So that did not surprise me. You know, I was thinking that she was either a fire sign or an air sign, and here's why. Because like the fire signs, they can be very charismatic. They're often extroverted, which con artists need to be. You know, a con artist is short for a confidence artist. A con is a confidence game. And you really can't be like, you know, locked in a closet uh, reading a book <laughs> to be a con artist. Like you have to be out and about a, uh, among people. And so I was like, ooh, maybe she's a fire sign. That, that would make sense. Um, I also thought she might be an air sign because air signs are often very extroverted, you know, often very chatty, interested in meeting new people. Um, and some of the air signs do have aspects where if you are unevolved and you are emotionally immature or you have some sort of arrested development, it will often manifest as lying or deception. And we can talk about that more later in another video. Let's just focus on Ms. Anna Delve. Anna is an Aquarius sun. And I was like, oh, that actually makes a lot of sense because in my opinion, Aquarians are the most fire sign appearing of the air signs. Like oftentimes I'll meet an Aquarius and I'll think I'm talking to like a Leo or a Sag or an Aries. Uh, because Aquarians are so confident often and extroverted, so friendly. They have a long line of friends very often like this Anna chick did. And Aquarians are often visionaries. Aquarians are often people who are like, I'm going this way and y'all should follow me. And if you look at, you know, if you look at what's been written about Anna, she had qualities of that, like, okay, we're all going to Morocco, let's just do this, like, follow me, it'll be fine. Um, so she definitely had that leadership, yet very social aspect that many Aquarians have, but it was subverted for her. So her moon is in Taurus, so uh, the moon is our emotional center, um, and it's also how we deal with conflict, and it's also what we need to feel safe. And so Taurus folk, they uh, are very much about, you know, creature comforts. They like their stuff. They like their little comforts and their luxuries. So, so that's, that's very important to a Taurus folk. But also keep in mind that Taurus is an earth sign. And so the moon isn't 100% comfortable in an earth sign. Like, it can chill there, sure, but the moon is like the, the gooey emotional center of our astro astrological chart. And like, you know, sometimes the earth signs are so hard-nosed and practical and so, you know, in touch with reality and what needs to be done that the, there's a sense of conflict there. And so what I'm getting at is that sometimes people who have their moon in earth signs, sometimes they can be very ham-fisted. I don't know if that's the right term. They can be very, like, kind of awkward with other people's feelings. Like, there's uh, an emotional sensitivity that they sometimes lack. So, I mean, Anna definitely seems to have that, not really caring, you know, who she stomps on uh, through, via this whole escapade. So, um, other significant parts of her chart, uh, Mars is in Gemini. Great, great, great. Listen, I love my crazy Geminis out there. Um, but keep in mind, like, there's a duality inherent within Gemini where it's, you know, the twin. And, you know, the twin comes out when the person feels triggered. And we all, we all, you, me, we all have an aspect of our chart that Gemini covers. And I wouldn't want Mars, the planet of war, hanging out in uh, Gemini. Because Mars is the planet of like, okay, what do we need to do to get things done and to achieve our goals, whatever they may be. And having that planet hanging out in Gemini would just kind of put me ill at ease because it's like, well, we can be two people. How about that? You know, so I would just be sort of, that to me was an orange flag given the limited amount that we know about Anna's chart. So let's just do this, folks. Let's just do it. 
Okay, I'm not gonna count those as jumpers, although maybe I should. Okay, I am gonna count those as jumpers. Okay, so those are jumpers. If you're new to this channel, uh, jumpers are cards that make themselves known during the shuffle. Um, so they'll flip out of the deck, they'll fall out of the deck, they'll sometimes appear upright when all the deck is face down. So it's, it's the guides uh, showing us something and turning our attention to something. So we're just going to save those for later. I, I'm going to cut these with my non-dominant hands, like so. And here we go. Okay, Anna. Let's go. External, internal. Where the energy is headed. So let's start with her external situation interesting 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 okay well makes sense i mean this is very literal sometimes the guides are very literal with us but externally with anna what's coming through is the four of swords so the four of swords pretty self-explanatory it's a um you know going into the cave to recharge and for her the cave is prison right like she's quiet has she released any statements so externally to the world, yeah, this is pretty much how it looks. She's probably enjoying the attention, I would imagine, but we haven't really heard much out of her or her people, have we? Um, so quiet, communing with self, resting, uh, resting to perhaps recharge, resting the mind. Okay, this is how she appears externally to the world. Okay, all right, fair enough. Now let's take a look at what's going on internally. Oh, interesting, interesting. This is very interesting. Okay, so what came up for Anna internally is the hanged man in reverse. So the hanged man upright is the one card of the deck that's a natural reversal. And so when this card comes up, it reminds us that it is only when we let go. It is only when we, you know, let our cell phone fall out, our money fall out, our wallet hits the ground, our car keys, everything, just let it go and stop trying to control things and go where the current is taking us. Only then are we gonna get it and we're gonna have that moment of enlightenment. So for her, when this card comes up upright, um, it is a card of, it, it's, a, it's a card of transcendence. It's a card that suggests that she may have done some work in prison where she's just sort of like, I get it now, I get the error of my ways. Um, it, it's a card of clarity. It, it's a card that suggests such clarity that this person can walk off the tree branch now. They can untie themselves. They're no longer suspended. You know, the sun is around their brain, head, if you will. They get it. But the question is, what does she get? You know, what is becoming clear to her is what I'm wondering. Because I don't think we should naturally assume like, oh, she's got to live like the good, honest life. She gets it now that, you know, lying to people and con artistry is wrong. So we're going to have to ask for a clarification card on this one. Okay. And let's see where the energy is headed. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, so what came up is the three of swords in reverse. So the three of swords upright, it's a card of third party ca causing drama. So this comes up a lot when I'm doing reading for readings for people where there's like like an office romance when like one person's like already committed. It, it's a card that comes up a lot when, um, you know, when there's like someone has like an inappropriate friendship in a committed relationship. Um, it can even come up if, if there's just like a, a family member causing issues in your partnership, a, an overbearing family member. And so uh, it, it can mean an affair, it, that can happen. Um, but I like to just describe it to people as third party causing drama. And so in this, in this case, like Anna was the third party, like she caused drama and pain for a lot of people. Um, and what this suggests now is healing, like the healing has begun. So, I mean, there are going to be scars, like the damage is not erased, but that there, this is a position where the swords can slip out of the heart. So, I mean, that's good. That's good. Um, let's ask for more clarification, shall we? So I want clarification for the hanged man. So yeah, let me just shuffle these again. So what is it that 
Anna gets now that she's in prison? What does she understand better? Okay. Okay. So what came up there... Let's pull this. So what came up there was the Eight of Wands. So this is one of those annoying things that the guides will do. You'll ask the guides for a, like a very clear question and then they'll give you a card that doesn't really give you the answer. So when I asked the guides, you know, what is it that she gets now? What does she have clarity about now? What does she realize? They gave the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands upright, that's a card of swiftness, speed, completion, you know, quick resolution. So what the guides are saying is, we'll see. You'll find out. So, okay, I guess we just have to wait and see. Thanks, guys. I, and now let's, I asked, I pulled a clarification card for the Three of Swords. Just, guides, can you talk a little bit more about it? Oh, okay, that's good. That is very interesting. So, um, what came up for the Three of Swords was the Princess of Swords in reverse. So this card came up upright for the Tinder Swindler, uh, which means more mental agility. This is a card, it's a feminine card, card of mental agility, rolling with the punches, rolling with the challenges and obstacles in life, um, and, you know, being triumphant over them. You don't really want to see this card for a con artist, and it came up upright for the Tindler Swindler. Now, it came up in reverse for Anna, so that suggests that maybe, like, maybe this arena of mental agility in the form of con artistry, that that energy is receding out of her life. Uh, it, it may be the clarity that she's gotten thus far in prison. Who knows? She is still really young. Uh, what is she, like, 30, 31? So there's still time for her, I suppose. All right, and before we go, let's take a look at the jumpers that made themselves known. Okay. Hmm. 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 Uh, so the jumpers were the King of Cups and uh, the Two of Wands. So the court cards almost always represent people. Um, so it's making me wonder if there is a male figure in her life or already present in her life that's having a, um, a positive influence on her because the King of Cups is the king who has mastered his emotions. Uh, he's been through a lot, he's seen a lot of shit, and now his emotions do not control him, he controls them. Uh, the Two of Wands is a card of out with the old, in with the new. You know, it's a new path, uh, new way, new direction. I had this card come up for me when I was like breaking up with a friend and then like em embracing a new friendship with another friend. And the thing to uh, keep in mind with this card in the traditional Rider White deck, the rod is nailed to the wall. Uh, or screwed into the wall. I don't really know if it's a if it's a nail or if it's a screw. I don't have that. I don't have that data. But that's an important detail because it signifies that like the past is being locked in the past. The past is over now, and it's not going to come. You know, bouncing back into the future. So to me, this suggests she's moving on from her old ways. It suggests rehabilitation, and also that there may be a male figure in her life that is influencing this in a positive way. Okay, so guys, that is what I have for you. As usual, like, subscribe, comment below. I'm on TikTok and on the gram, same handle, at the LNX Files. Give me a follow and let's get this channel into the land of the living. And we'll do this again.